things in life usually do not go according to plan. Uh, yeah, that's a Choctaw license plate from the expedition we saw binge in Oklahoma. You get to keep your tags, so that one's now hanging in here. Um, my fat head blocks the view of it. Linda's chickens are laying eggs. Aurora recovered a, like a bucket full of eggs yesterday. We need to clean them up and start getting them to some people. Um, Nicholas cooked breakfast for me this morning. Last night was pretty rough. Um, my medication that I take to help me get through life took forever. I mean like two hours before I started feeling the effect. Part of that effect is it relieves um, intense pain so that I can lay down and actually get some rest, if not actually get some sleep. Um, it My own stupidity is about 60% responsible for the chronic pain I live in. I say 60%. 40% uh, is due to what I did for a job and, and uh, circumstances way beyond my control. Um, Boy, they're excited. <laughs> they do that cackling all through the day. I went and got, or let Bo and I went to Walmart, and we, he paid for them, but we got us each a set of headphones for these computers so we don't have to listen to that when we're trying to fine-tune something. Speaking of which, um, I'm not naming, and I didn't do any development on it yesterday. I'm going to try to today. It's not going to be Adventures Into the Strange. It's going to be Adventures Sight, S-I-T-E. That way it can be funny stuff. It can be fun stuff. It can be scary stuff, paranormal stuff, whatever I want to put up there. And when I get the site up... <clears throat> I'll let you guys know on here, and I'm going to let, <coughs> excuse me, everyone on my mailing list know it and see if they would please subscribe. My next channel is going to be a business. That's how I'm going to look at it. It's, um, I'm, today is, uh, is Sunday and Nick is the only thing he's doing is going and buying laundry soap and he's doing laundry for he and Brandon to have some clothes for work tomorrow uh, I haven't seen Brandon I had him last night come out and turn everything off out here and so I just turned the heat back on it's 72 degrees outside but it is a uh, fairly well insulated room office is and so when it gets to the point that it's chilly in here it stays that way for a while and I guess until we're actually I've had the air conditioner on twice this month in a uh, March 2022 and uh it's that good old get colds and flu and allergy season here in Oklahoma and I got colds and allergies and I don't have the flu but I did have it. <clears throat> I've uh, uh more and more and more I'm becoming forgetful. I, my 
thought process is just shut down for a second and I forget my train of thought and that just happened to me again. Uh, <clears throat> Linda's in the house. One of my greatest joys in life is just spending time with her and doing things with her. But today I've got stuff I've got to do out here tomorrow. The kids are going to be in school and Tigger doesn't go to school so he and his dad will have a day. Benjamin's been cleaning his yard up. He's been burning stuff off and that is the fastest easiest way to do it. We don't have a uh, we haven't ordered a dumpster and not going to um, and my son Chris still has some of his stuff out in the pasture behind the storage buildings it's just part of being who we are, part of living in the country. Uh, I talked to my baby girl, Sissy, better known as Crystal, Nick's ex-wife. And she's absolutely opposed to living in town. She lives in the country. A lot of turmoil going on there within her. And, and bless her, I pray for her all the time pray for everybody all the time about the only thing I'm good at anymore and I say I'm good at it simply because it's an honest prayer when I say it and God seems to answer my prayers when I pray for other people and that brings me to Shelly Dion Shelly I love you and I am still praying for your mother I won't stop I hope she's doing better. Prayer is a powerful thing. It really is. It's probably, you know, it's been said by different Christian denominations and different religions that a mother's prayer is the most heard prayer in heaven. It's the, mo it's the most... Uh, It is the most heartfelt and deepest prayer usually, and I really believe that. Motherhood is sacred. A lot of people do not believe that. I do. There, my son Brandon has a Facebook page he put out called Bo Neshoba, and that is... Um, <clears throat> That sounds like a make-believe name, but to my siblings and mom on here, I'm going to explain something. Neshoba means wolf in Choctaw, Chada. Neshoba Siahoke. That means I am wolf. To my siblings, that was the clan that daddy's family belonged to. Here's some, some information you probably didn't have. Uh, <clears throat> it was a warrior clan, warrior society. The hardest thing that took place during the Trail of the Tears, the Trail of Tears with Choctaw, is Peter Pitchland made a decision for everybody that he really didn't have the right to make. But they decided rather than to fight, they would go ahead and go to the new lands that were designated. <clears throat> but that's where the Neshoba comes from. It is actually your name too to my siblings. It is. Um, It, and that's one of our names as children of our father. Now, um, I didn't mean to diverge into uh, something that actually is a sore spot with me sometimes. You have to forget the resentments you have, and I've got a bunch of them, and I'm working on re on forgiving for and forgetting a lot of stuff and a lot of people none of whom are watching this you guys 
I have no hard feelings toward any one of you that watch this. That is why as family and friends, I love every one of you watching this, this vlog. But I have other folks that I have been abused by, in some cases severely. And I'm, I, I would be lying if I said I, I don't hold grudges. I have to work as hard as I can not to have grudges. Um, it's, uh, and it's not easy. It really isn't. Um, just a second. You know, the one thing I have to constantly remind myself of, our life happens in a flash, in a blink of an eye. We're not here long enough to really be resentful all the time. And it's hard not to be resentful. I'll be the first one to admit that. It, uh, you have to, or you should, um, be forgiving toward everybody. And I'm, I wish I could say I'm practicing what I'm preaching. Today, for some reason, I'm having a real hard time dealing with some things. Um, I guess I'm just human. I, uh, We're all a product of our upbringing, and mine was particularly rough in my early years, up until I was about 13, 14 years old. Things happen to me I will not relay on here. I will not let any of you know. My mother knows, uh, or my mother, my deceased mother knew, because she... Um, some things she did contributed to it and my wife knows I confide everything in, Lin in to Linda I do they're deeply personal wounds and part of the individuals that inflicted those wounds are dead and the thing I can say about about all of you on here none of you including mom knew any of the folks I'm, I'm thinking of or that I'm talking about. And you have to let go of that stuff. And I'm trying today. One thing I do to let go of it is stay busy and do meaningful things when I'm doing something. And I'll be doing a little bit of that here quickly after this, this vlog starts uploading. Um, it's still in the morning. It's about two minutes before noon. But I'm uh, I'm letting sharing personal stuff with all of you. And I really am. It's uh, and I mean uber personal. I don't like people knowing uh, how I really feel sometimes about things. Um, there are a couple of individuals that uh, the thoughts of them have been pestering me hard this morning and I need to uh, just forget that and go on. That is very easily said and very hard to do, but I'm trying. Now, I'm getting ready to shut shut this uh, vlog down but mom and John I hope you're doing well up there in Noble my brother Michael I hope you're doing well up there in Oklahoma City 
my sister Randy and her husband and Edmund, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope life is treating you good. I really do. I pray for y'all. Pray for everybody on here a lot. I think probably without prayer, uh, I'd be in prison or something. To my my good friend Chris Kimball, K I M B A L L, in uh, in Florida, I hope you are doing well. Uh, we're getting ready to hit the bad storm season. I want you to stay safe. To my friend Monty, M-O-N-T-Y, I hope you're doing well. I hope life is treating you and yours in a superb fashion. I do. Hope your children are all safe and happy. To my my friend Shelly that I addressed earlier, I am still praying for your mother, and I hope she is getting better, and I hope her health's improving. To my friend David Talaga, I uh, I hope life is treating you well too. To my friend Jackie Brill, S A N D S in Tennessee, I hope you're doing well. Now I'll get this other channel up. I'm gonna try to get it launched today. It takes a bit of work. It it's not simply putting a handle on it. Uh, the videos on it are gonna actually be edited. And so I have to do some of that. But I want all of you to try to do what that sign up there says. Be kind. I'm having a real struggle with that today. Um, but be kind. It, it will make you a better person. And it will keep other individuals from having their head handed back to them. Love all of you. God bless you. And bye.